I can't believe we have to make a video about volcanoes for science class. Opportunities like this only happen in Miss East class. Best of all, we've been learning about volcanoes for two months now, so we know everything about them. This will be so much fun. Yes, but where to begin? I wish we could actually explore a real volcano, but the closest are Mount St. Helens, Glacier Peak, and Yellowstone. Yeah. Wait a second, there's evidence of volcanoes all over the upper, upper peninsula. Yes, volcanic rock is found there. It indicates that volcanic activity once helped form our world as we know it. Changes in temperature are other effects of recent volcanic eruptions. This is because ash, dust, and cinders released from a volcano block the sunlight, causing temperature to decrease. Not to mention the large amount of dust in the air after a volcano. Don't you see, guys, with all these factors, there is great evidence that a volcano might have erupted in Michigan billions of years ago. <gasps> this is so exciting! It is! What are we waiting for, guys? Let's go find it! You know what that means. It's, it's time, time for a trip on the magic spaceship! Woo! You know, if a volcano was really here millions of years ago, do you guys have any idea what kind of side effects could have occurred? I never thought of that, but it's true. Volcanoes can be very dangerous. Lava flow brings deadly molten rock to the surface, destroying everything in its path. And then there's lots of silica in the eruption. The volcanoes can shoot lava thousands of meters. But that's not even the worst of it. Ash and gases spewed from the reaction can decrease the temperature and displace the gas content in the air. How could you breathe? And plants won't get enough sunlight to make food. Yes, large amounts of ash can cause buildings to cave in and bury people alive. Huh. Not to mention the harmful sulfur that can mix with water vapor and cause acid rain. Do you guys remember those lahars we learned about? Those mixtures of water, mud, and volcanic rock can cause people to get sink inside the flow. They're as strong as what concrete, and they can move houses. What about those earthquakes? When magma rises from the volcano, it shifts and causes cracks in the earth. And pyroclastic flow. These high-density mixtures of hot ash and gases flow so rapidly, it's impossible to run away from them. Gee whiz, I'm getting kind of scared. Don't worry about it, silly. Remember, if a volcano was once in Michigan, all those hazards would have occurred with the last eruption many, many years ago. And it must be dormant now. Scientists would know if there was an active one in this area. That's true. Well, even if it isn't active, we're still going to find that volcano. Yeah! yeah. Seatbelts, everyone! Please let this be a normal field trip with a friend. No way! Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Next thing that you know, you'll see. <laughs> What's in my neighborhood? Surfing on the sine wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at Joe and Jasmine. Take your second life at Mars on the Magic School Bus. Alligator, not true. I'm on the Magic School Bus. Make a plane, turn to. Take that. I'm on the Magic School Bus. Rock the river of love. I'm on the Magic School Bus. Such a fine thing to do. So strap your bones back to the seat. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie on the magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic school bus. Boy, that sure was a long spaceship ride. The UP where Volcanic once was discovered sure is far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. So what should we do first? Well, I think we should really start looking for some of those, some of those volcano, volcanic rocks around here. Good idea! The highest buildup of igneous rocks will surely show us the closest location to where a volcano once was. What are we waiting for? Let's go find some volcanic rock! You know, I think one of the most fascinating things about volcanoes is how they affect everything around them. That's true. Volcanoes play a major role in shaping the Earth's system. Take the atmosphere, for example. The large amount of carbon dioxide that volcanoes emit can suffocate animals and humans. Well, what about the water cycle? Volcanoes release lots of water vapor, and the sulfur dioxide gas they emit can combine with oxygen to form sulfuric acid. When that enters the atmosphere, it is washed out with leaving water. The acid rain falls to earth and ruins plants on land and lakes. Plus, volcanoes can really increase rainfall. All the water vapor form clouds and rain. Remember the global cooling we talked about earlier? Dust that comes from volcanoes can collect in the stratosphere and stay there for years. Major eruptions will reflect enough sunlight to lower the temperature by a few degrees. But don't forget that the dust also collects water droplets around it, which increases the universal circulation in the atmosphere. 
This can actually raise the temperature a few degrees. Wow, the effects of volcanoes are all around us. For sure. <gasps> yeah. Look at this, guys. This is clearly a basalt. A sure igneous rock. Do, the, do you guys know what that means? The volcano must be near us! Let's follow the trail of rocks and see if it leads to the volcano. Here's another one. Hey, I found one too! Over here! You guys, our elevation has increased by hundreds of meters. Quick, put these gas masks on. These rocks just keep coming! The volcano must be close. Well, we are hundreds of meters above sea level and there is an abundance of volcanic rocks and something smells like rotten eggs. It could be sulfur. All these signs seem to indicate we're, we're on, on the volcano. volcano! Oh my god, what was that? Those records surely indicate that this volcano hasn't been active for thousands of years. That sounded very much like an earth tremor. Oh, oh my god! That was the closest one. It almost had us. The good thing the silica content was so low that the lava is moving slowly and we were able to escape. But imagine an active volcano in Michigan all this time. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing no one else was around. They might have been severely hurt. We've already discussed the hazards. Well, after we've alerted the scientific community of this phenomenon, we'd better get started on that video. Well, we've certainly gathered a lot of information from this trip, so it's time to go home and work on our project. Well, then it's time to go back on the Magic Spaceship! Woo! Okay.